Answer on this one is 63. For this one, we're going to have to start right in here y minus x. That's going to be 3 minus a negative 2, which is 5. If you square that, you get 25. And multiply that by z, which is negative 1. So you get a negative 25. Square the x to get 4. And then times y is 12. And then back here you're going to have plus x, which is a negative 2. So 12 minus 25 is negative 13, and then plus a negative 2, negative 15. Answer is negative 15. Last one. All right, for this one, y is 10 and z is 2, x is 4, z is 2, and y times z is 10 times 2. That's a 20 over x, which is 4. That would be 5 plus 2 plus 5, which is 12. Pick a number from 1 to 5. Winning number is 2. If you have your homework finished with all work shown, bring it up here and show it to me. So, uh, 22 people here, 19 with homework. That turns out to be 86%. Here are the answers. Put a check mark beside the ones that are right. We'll go through some questions after. We're finished with the answers. Number one, negative five plus five i. Two, nine plus twenty one i. Three is twenty two i. Four is zero. 5 is 10 plus 22i. 6 is negative 24. 7 is negative 6 minus 8i. 8 is negative 36 plus 36i. 9 is 0. 10 is negative 30. Today's objective, same as we did the rest of the week, know there is a complex number i such that i squared is negative 1, and every complex number has the form a plus bi, with a and b real numbers. Today's knowledge targets, same as before, know that i is the square root of negative 1 or i squared is negative 1. Define complex numbers and write complex numbers in the form a plus bi with a and b being real numbers. So we're going to go through and review. Some of these you're going to bring up to me. Some I'll work out for an example. Uh, some you'll drop off. These you're just going to say the answer out loud. What is i to the sixth? Negative 1 i to the third, negative i, negative i. i to the eighth, one, one. one, it's a multiple of four for the exponent, so that would make it a one, i to the tenth, negative one, negative one. we just did i to the eighth, and if you put i to the second beside it, that will make i to the tenth, so we know i to the eighth is one, so i squared is all you concentrate on. When you multiply them together, you get this. What's i? Square root of negative one. Square root of negative one. i to the fourth. One. one. i squared. Negative one. i to the seventh. Negative i. Negative i. Another thing you could do for this is, remember we had i to the eighth and it equaled one i to the seventh is one behind that, and it's a negative i. Remember i to the fourth, it's a one, 
and 1 behind that is i to the third. What's i to the third? Negative 1. So there's another pattern you can look at. Third and seventh, the difference between the two is 4. Or you can come up with anything that's a 1, the thing right before it is going to be a negative i. i to the 24th. One, because this is a multiple of four. If you can divide it by four and get an integer, then the answer is going to be one. I to the thirtieth. Negative one is right because find the nearest multiple of four without going over. That would be twenty-eight. Add two to it to get thirty. We know that the multiple of four is going to be one and i squared we know is negative 1, so you multiply them together to get negative 1. Alright, for this one I'll work this one out. If you have to multiply two of them together, all you do is the coefficients times each other. 3 times 2 is 6, and then multiply the imaginary numbers, add the exponents. 2 and 7 is 9. From there, you have to simplify. So i to the 9th. We know that i to the 8th is 1. So i to the 9th would be i. So the answer is 6i. When you get the answer to this, just tell me what it is. And the reason she comes up with 4 is because we have 4 times 1. There's not a 1 written there, but it's there. So that's 4. And i times i to the 3rd is i to the 4th. We know that i to the 4th is 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. I'll work this one out. Anytime you have a bunch of i's multiplied together, a bunch of imaginary numbers, Concentrate on the exponents first. What's this exponent here? 1, yeah. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6. Now look at your negative signs, if you have any. If you don't have any, it's positive. You have one negative sign. Add up the number of negative signs, and in this case it's just 1. But if you have an odd number of negative signs, the answer will have a negative sign in front of it, at least to start with. And then from there you simplify. The best thing you can do is make this negative sign a negative 1, so you don't forget about it. And then simplify i to the 6th. We know that i to the 4th is 1, so what you're left over with is i squared. That's a negative 1. When you multiply them together, you get a 1. On a problem like this, you're going to start here and multiply it by each one of those. Do not forget that you're multiplying by the terms inside of the parentheses and the sign in front of them. The sign in front of i squared is positive, it's not written. And the sign in front of that is a minus, but you treat it as a negative. So when we multiply from here to here, you come up with a negative 2i to the third. And then from here to here, you come up with a positive 2i to the fourth. Don't forget this is an exponent of 1. And then from there you simplify. What is i to the third? Negative i. And i to the fourth, 1. So negative 2 times negative i is negative, or not negative, but positive 2i. And then 2 times 1 is 2. Is that my final answer? No. no. What should I do? Yeah. 2 plus 2i, two because it must be in the form a plus bi. Multiply this by this to come up with 5i to the ninth. It's positive because you have a double negative. Add the 3 and the 6 to get the 9. And then multiply this by this. Again, a double negative, so you're going to come up with plus 
5 i to the 4th. And from there you simplify. i to the 9th is just i. So you have 5i, and this is 1. So you just have a 5. But you have to reverse them. 5 comes first, and then the 5i last. And this is a problem just like we did. I'll work this one out. This is a negative 2i to the 4th plus 3i to the 3rd. i to the 4th is 1, so you have a negative 2. And i to the 3rd is a negative i. So you end up with minus 3i. And this one is already in the right form. I'll work this one out, then I'll give you one to do. On these problems, you always start with the first term in the first quantity and multiply it by each in the second one. So 4i times 3i is 12i squared. And 4i times 3 is 12i. Now move to this one, and you have to include the sign in front of it, and multiply it by each of those on the right. That would be a negative 6i minus 6. Now from there you have to simplify. So this is negative 1. That's why this becomes negative 12. You have like terms in the middle. You have 12i minus 6i, and that's going to be 6i. And then, of course, the minus 6 stays. Again, you have like terms, so negative 12 minus 6 is a negative 18, and the plus 6i stays the same. Negative 18 plus 6i. Try this one. Bring it up here. All right, multiply this by each of these to get a negative 3i plus i squared. And then multiply this by each of these to get a negative 6 plus 2i. Now go back and simplify. Negative 3i will stay the same, but this i squared is a negative 1 and keep the minus 6 plus 2i. Your constants, negative 1 minus 6 is going to be a negative 7. Negative 3 plus, or negative 3i plus 2i is a negative i. Negative 7 minus i. Bring this one up here. When you multiply this out, you should get two, negative 2i to the 6th, and then plus 4i to the 4th. And then moving to this term, you'll have minus 4i to the 5th, and plus 8i to the 3rd. Now go back and simplify. i to the 6th is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. i to the 4th is 1. So we just have a 4. i to the 5th is i, so we have minus 4i, and that minus was already there. i to the 3rd is negative i, so we have a negative 8i. For the constants, we end up with a 6, and for the imaginary numbers, negative 12i. So 6 minus 12i. i to the 3rd, negative i i to the ninth, i. i to the sixth, negative one. i to the twelfth, one. i to the fifth, i. Square root of negative one. i to the fourth, i to the third, i to the sixth, i to the 11th, negative i. Remember, i to the 12th is 1, and we said before, if you go 1 back from that, from your 1s, you end up with a negative i. You have a test tomorrow. It's 20 questions, 5 extra credit, 50 points each for 1 through 20, and 25 each for the extra credit. It's designed to be completed within one period. It is not... 
a test that's supposed to take you three days. So don't take 40 minutes on one problem. I can't keep uh, letting you come back in and keep working and keep working. It's a short enough test where you should be able to finish it.